So, I put my back to front webbings in. I've put my side to sides in, you'll notice. I started off with the centre one, and then I marked out either side of that for my others. But the difference is that I've had to weave them. Now that's done for strength on the seat. And the way we weave it, it's quite straightforward. You'll see with this one, I've gone under, over and under, and the other one, I've gone over, under and over. So they alternate. Simple process, you just take your web, you place it through, you weave it through like so, and then you fix, which I'll do for you now. Now the fixing process is the same, right the way through, two centimeters away from the edge at least. We don't like any lumps and bumps. Five tacks. And then I take my strainer once more, the same thing, fold under, in the slot, peg in the loop at the back, get the correct tension. Now a little pointer, with a tapered seat like this, if I strain the web straight against the centre mark there for the web, the web would actually creep off. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to set the web strainer slightly forward so I know that when I strain it down, it will pull back slightly with this rake of the seat or the angle and give me a nice straight line. I take my three tacks again, one in the centre, one to either outside edge, Remove the strainer, a quick trim, fold over, and two tacks on the top. If you follow a few simple rules when you're webbing up, good strong anchor, nice straight pull, a good strong fix, and a fold, get a good, even, consistent weave, you'll never have a problem. Happy tacking.